Oh yeah, we're d we're doubling down on modesty today. So chat, you might know me, okay? You see me and you're like, Jake, the corn suit? Classic, very modest. Not showing anybody the sauce? You know what I mean? Everybody's just sort of like, they got their own sort of like shit going on. You know what I mean? You don't have to view my sauce. My sauce is kept modestly to myself, unless you reach upon under the husk, of course. And then you get full cob. But, show cob? I can't show you cob, okay? I can't just show anybody cob, all right? But, but, I will say, I will say, I'm very modest, okay? And you you play your cards right, maybe. But I'm very modest. And just like just like me, Abby Shapiro is very modest as well. Abby Shapiro is, uh, you know, modesty is hottesty. And that's really the way it is. That's the way the Lord intended. Um, you will not get my butter unless you unless you uh, uh, do it do it well. That's your husband's sister. Oh, no, are you a doctor? Um, uh, <clears throat> but the cornhole, oomph. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so this is Abby Shabibo. And she's uh, going to say something about being modest. When you're going five, to... She's going to hack modesty, dude. Five modesty hacks that will keep you looking classic and stylish. Look at her. Already hacking the classics. Be more modest. We're not showing so much skin. That's kind of the goal, right? Yeah. Is that we want to look attractive without looking distracting. Yeah, don't look distracting. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, I, I, I can't, but hey, Classic Crew. Hello, Classic Crew, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing five modesty hacks that every elegant lady should know. Okay, let's see it. Here on my channel, you know that we talk about modesty quite a bit. Modesty. And we talk about classic and elegant Hell style. Yeah. Now, being a classic woman is something that fits in really well with the conservative view of the world. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Look at how fucking conservative she is because of her butterfly earrings that's true butterflies are conservatives everybody knows it uh butterflies hate the gays hate them the idea that we want to make ourselves look our best and present ourselves well because we accept the reality of the fact that yes and the left does not look the best or present themselves well that's true as well you can tell you can tell somebody who uh, isn't uh, uh, conservative because they just look super put together and have uh, they're very reasonable people. The right is obviously um, uh, 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 <laughs> they look great. <laughs> Our appearance matters, and it's respectful to other. On Twitter, Abby said she literally she literally said leftists who are modest and traditional are fake and only in it for the aesthetic. Fuck, man. Just ruined. Just fucking For people ruined. to present ourselves in the best way possible. But I think it's really fun to try and figure out what you can do to make your clothing more modest that doesn't limit you, that doesn't make you feel like you can't wear a ton of different clothing. Instead, it gives you actually an opportunity to wear more and to wear things that you love. So today I'm going to be sharing some modesty hacks that I use when I'm shopping, when I'm dressing, and everything in between. So if you aren't already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more content like this, make sure Abby, for the love of Christ, bell. please. And if you'd like to get exclusive content please not available continue. anywhere else, including for exclusive videos every single month, make sure to head to the link in my description box or go to classicallyabby.substack.com where you will get your newsletter to your inbox every single week. And now Jesus. let's get into today's video. So my first modesty hack is finding flesh-toned undershirts. I got this undershirt from Ann Taylor a hundred million years ago. Oh my god, that's just so fucking classic, Abby. Please tell me more. Please, I'm not just looking at my phone right now. I'm not just fucking texting. It's fine. Please go on, Abby. Tell me. But Stop like, that, I'm kind that. of not exaggerating. Cool, <laughs> a really long time ago. I think maybe when mm -hmm. I was still in high school and I still own those same shirts. Damn, they still sell them so and fetch, they are dude. the best. They come in so many different colors. And because they have this pretty piece right here, they look really classy awesome. and purposeful, but they are not distracting from your outfits. They don't immediately make it obvious that you're wearing an undershirt, but if somebody were to look, they would see that you were wearing one, which is the best of all possible worlds. I think having flesh-toned undershirt- I'm sorry, someone said flesh and I'm, I'm right back into it. 
I'm right back into it. So I'm going to show titties because I'm a leftist and I only pay attention when there are titties in front of me. Someone show me your titties. Show me titties. More titties. As a man, I need titties to even function, okay? Twitter user at actual Jake. Show me your titties. There we go. Show them to me. I'm joking. This is a joke. Unless is the best addition to my wardrobe. I wear them all the time because many of my dresses are v Tits or get the fuck out. That's aggressive. That was more aggression than I The v-necks are very flattering. If I were to v-necks wear a darker are flattering. color. I have a Twitch v-neck, like, a twi- like a, an official Twitch shirt that's a v-neck. Uh, it gives too much sauce to chat. Uh, uh, pack a levra. Thanks for the follow. Undershirt, it would break up the line of the V-neck, but wearing a flesh-toned undershirt, it doesn't break up the line, but I still get that modesty that I want. So I will link these and Taylor shirts in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing them. Does classy exclude the possibility of cleavage happening? Yes, we do not get to look at flesh or, or cleavage or any of that. They're a bit expensive, but they last forever, especially. Honestly though, flip-flops, considering how many people want to suck on Abby Shapiro's toes, those should not be considered modest anymore. No more flippy floppies. Not for Abby. Too fucking, too many people want to suckle on her toenail bed. If you take good care of them. And of course, you can also find some similar ones probably online. But I just like these because they are adjustable. The straps flesh toned so that they can, they can still titillate without not being modest. Because if they're only thinking about your tits, well... That's modesty. They're adjustable and they have this pretty piece of kind of like chiffon right at the top, which makes them look really elegant. Yeah, no- chiffon, the most elegant fabric known to man. Number two is sew up the slits on your dresses. Sew up the slits on your dresses? All right, dude. I, I can't just have this pause happen and not do the thing. All right. All right, here we go. Back to Twitter. Well, I'm already on. Yep, we gotta. We just gotta. We just gotta bang it out. There we go. There we go. Done. Good job, everybody. We did it. Lately, I've been noticing that a ton of the dresses that I've been loving, that are the perfect length for me, maybe a midi length or right under the knee, have slits that go up way too high. That seems fine. Was that a flamenco dancer? That's fine. What's wrong with that? You ever just want to come on someone's leg because they wore a dress? Dude, okay. All right. All right. Can we can we like can we like talk about this for a second? I'm I'm a fu- I'm a I'm a, I fuck, okay? I am just at all times I'm ready to go. Ask me if I want to have sex chat. Yes, the answer is yes, I would like to fuck. So, I I've never seen someone's leg and just been unfucking controllable, okay? Even you got fucking super nice legs. There's legs, dude. They're legs. Act like you've been there. Calm down. You get to have legs without me trying to come on them. Not everything's a fucking sex object, Abby. It's so weird, dude. It's so weird. Like, like, this is... <laughs> and I personally don't want to slit that goes up too high. I don't... <laughs> Out of context, that's super funny. Don't find that very modest. I don't find a very high slit very modest either, Chad. I don't know about you guys. And so if I just sew up the slit, then it looks perfect. Now, I don't think you have to sew it up all the way unless you want to. I have one dress that I sewed it up all the way because I found that the slit was weird, so I didn't really like the way it looked with a slit anyways. Sure. And then I have another dress that I thought the slit was pretty, but I just... just keep, you can't keep saying slit, dude. You cannot continue to say slit like this. <laughs> Legs make me auto-nut. That's true. Sewed it to the knee, so there was a slit right at the knee, but- A knee slit? Look, I'm not- (laughs) I'm not like- Okay, alright, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, chat. You know, no lies here, no no lies from Mr. Corn. Not on your stream, okay? You deserve better, you deserve the best, okay? And what I got for you is this, I would fuck- I would fuck someone's knee if it had a slit. I'd do it, I'm not gonna lie to you. Someone wanted me, and like, if someone's like, hey, you have my consent to fuck my knee slit, and they were like, please, knee slit me, and I'd be like, all right, I'm giving you the business at the knee slit, I mean, I'm licking the slit at the knee, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll do whatever you really need me to do to get you going, and uh, honestly, it feels, it feels kind of, you know, 
think about all the different positions you could have with a knee slit. Yeah. Yeah. You've never had a knee job? No, I haven't. So, I mean, like, wow. Wow, dude. So, yeah, I could... I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, if, if aliens came down and they had knee vaginas, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be, I, you know, I, I, I'm not going to discriminate, you know, if they're looking for a good time or whatever, you know. I just really want to fuck a knee really bad. I just fucking, I want to fuck a knee so bad right now. But other than that, it's closed up, and I... <laughs> <laughs> it's closed up. Come on, dude. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. <laughs> I can't really think that this is just the easiest fix in the world. Number one, you can do it at home. You can do it by hand. You can do it with machine. But... It You can do it by hand. You can do it with a machine. By the way, the inventor of the Sibian died yesterday. That's true. That's actually true. For the last verse, more next to the biddies, dude. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it on a train. You can do it on a plane. <laughs> you can do it in my house. You could do it with my spouse. If you want to bring it to a tailor, it shouldn't cost more than five or six dollars, depending on how many layers there are to <laughs> do the dress. Don't solicit your fucking, your fucking tailor, okay? And it's just such an easy fix. If you have a dress that you absolutely love that has a slit, just sew the slit up. Fucking Christ. Hack number three Hack is... Hack number three. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Just come everywhere. It's just... Shop, Shop with... when the trends are modest. Shop when the trends are modest. What? Not when the trends are immodest. So during the pandemic, you probably noticed a ton of dresses came out that were kind of prairie style. There's also been dresses inspired by Bridgerton. There's these dresses that are just, they have long sleeves, they're flowy. Does she watch Bridgerton? Isn't Bridgerton super gay? Am I nuts? I thought it was real gay. I really like to fart. That was a lot. That was a lot of... I'm going to allow it, but that's a lot. They come below the knee, which... They come below the knee because of the slit, you see. To me, is stuff that's very modest. <laughs> and that was a perfect time to go shopping and stock up on stuff that you like. Now, right now, <laughs> we're in it. a season of trends that is much more 90s. A lot of crop tops. Okay. A lot of is that not, that's not clothing modest, that no. I would say is not very cute, but also I would say is not very modest. Not so modest, trying to no. go shopping a ton in the times when the trends are immodest is just not going to be as easy as when the trends are modest actually shopping then. Now, wow, there are certain man. stores that the trends really don't percolate in as much. So TJ Maxx, which is where I shop most of the time, if if you guys watch my channel, you'll know that. Big TJ Maxx enjoyer. Wow, that is depressing. Wowzers. They don't follow the trends. They just have dresses from all over the place. So I can find dresses there pretty much all the time that are modest. But I do have to search a little bit harder depending on the season and depending on... Uh, TJ Maxx has two X's altered rin. <laughs> on what the trends Obviously are because they're getting modest. their pieces of clothing from classic. everyone else. So if you want to find clothes that you love and that are modest, when you start to notice that you're walking into stores and things look more modest, then that is the perfect time to go shopping. Number four is if you're going to be more covered up, make sure your clothing fits. Wow. Her hack, her, her, her modesty hack is to m m buy clothing that fits you. Jesus Christ. This is hell. This is my fucking hell right now. So, when you're going to be more modest, we're not showing so much skin. That's kind of the goal, right? right is that we want to look back attractive up, chat. Let me know when this is over. distracting. Let me know. But if you're going to wear things that are more covered up, Phone's back you also up. want to make sure that they do show your figure. So, make sure your clothing fits you. So, that either means when you buy the piece of clothing, make sure that it actually fits your body, or... If it doesn't fit your body perfectly, go somewhere and get it tailored. True. Go, go, just simply go get your clothes tailored, chat. 
You guys know how you have access to a just a, a tailor at all times? You guys get it. You can find tailors in your area that are probably not very expensive. There are places that are more expensive, but you can also find tailors that do the same work for much less money. And you can make Make sure your clothes fit. Hot tip, Abby. Thanks your so much. Your clothing actually great. fit you and show off your figure. She's and that's great. I mean, you're not showing skin, but you're showing that you are a woman and that you do have that feminine body and that's beautiful Feminine so body. if you're going to dress modestly make sure your clothing fits so that you look modest but also classic and elegant number five is one of my favorites and that is when you are looking at a rack of dresses look at the hems before you look at the tops i found that for me i know now what length i'm comfortable wearing when it comes to dresses i used to be comfortable wearing things that were a little bit shorter but as i've gotten older i've decided that i like dresses that do come a little bit longer Looking and so i rack. do know what that length looks like I on a hanger it. but if i look at the top of a dress and i fall in love with it and i pull it off the rack and i notice that it's short ugh, it's such a bummer i hate so, pulling i hate pulling it off on a rack no i don't my trick is to look at the bottom of the rack before i look at the top of the rack and then i'll see which dresses are long enough because some of those dresses are not going to kind of hit that that line they're going to actually be much shorter and i won't even i won't even entertain those dresses <laughs> those dresses are not something that i'm comfortable buying so look it's okay if you don't want to wear clothes you don't want to wear that's fine but like she's always out here being like if you don't wear modest clothing you're a fucking whore it's like Calm down, dude. So figuring out what length you're comfortable wearing that is modest is going to let you peruse that rack of clothing and find that skirt or dress that you love and you are comfortable wearing. So those are my modesty hacks today. Let me know in the comments if you have any modesty hacks that I didn't mention. Maybe I'll do another video like this, a part two, and we can talk about- Please don't fucking do a part two to this. Please, please don't do a part two. In fact, delete the channel. Just delete it. I don't need the content anymore. It's over. Please stop. Please. This is my hell. If, if I had to be in a room with Abby Shapiro for a long period of time, I would literally become the joke about men who tune out women. Except mine wouldn't be sexist. It would be for my own mental health. Like, she just sucks so bad. She just sucks. You know, maybe in spring and summer, Jesus those modesty hacks are a little 30, bit. I was wrong. It's not 30,000. It's under 5,000. That's fucking. That's rough. That's a rough one. I'm sure sometimes she has better views than that. Yeah, she has 8.5, 12K. Yikes. Wowzers. Okay but different than the same hacks I would do in the winter and fall. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell. If you haven't already subscribed to my Substack newsletter, what are you waiting Substack. for? Get those four exclusive videos every month. And Yeah, you guys want some exclusive Abby Shapiro videos? Hashtag conservative influencer. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure is a very popular hashtag. <laughs> no view shaming, please. If you had 95,000 uh, people looking at your art, V. Kylo, and only 4,000 of them even watched and only 400 of them liked it, that would not be a very good review of your art. You are valid whatever art you make but it doesn't mean it's good for everybody. Abby Shapiro tank top? Oh, boy. Is, she, is Okay. All right. I don't want to hear her say bye, chat. Do we have to hear her say bye? Abby Shapiro tank top. I'm doing this off because I don't want to be like... I don't want to be like... Uh, uh, objectifying Abby Shapiro. If you know what I mean? I'm not going to be sexist towards Abby Shapiro. So she's just in a tank top and shorts. Okay, this isn't really even sexist. This is just her in a tank top and shorts. Okay. I didn't know if it was like an edit or some shit. It's not. Here you go. Here's Abby Shapiro in shorts. That's it. She looks fine. She looks like a normal person. She's not really my cup of tea, but if she is yours, cool. She's wearing a short, sh short shorts and a tank top.
cool. If she's changed her mind on how she wants to dress, that's also fine, too. I don't really give a shit. I don't really care how she dresses. I don't care at all. It is a little hypocritical of her to do that. I don't know. I don't know when this was from. But she got very objectified for being Abby Shapiro in general. Like this this picture is the one that came out. Where I would I would think this is this is following her modesty, right? This picture of her right here. But she has she has large bazongas. And so a bunch of the uh you know, a bunch of the uh, I words that we can't say um uh were uh, uh fawning over her. And then there was a feet picture or something. And so right wing Nazi Twitter went fucking bananas after Abby Shapiro uh uh was 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 shown onto the scene basically uh, because it's like Ben Shapiro but you but it's okay to be attracted to her <laughs> cuz you know uh you know how they are <clears throat> little 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 you know some people have bigger clauses than other people and that's fine uh but anyway uh and Abby Shapiro's fine I get it if you're attracted to her again she's not really my thing but that's fine she doesn't have to be I'm not for her like and she's not for me. Like it's not. A, she's not. A, she's not an object that I get to ogle. She is a person, and that's fine too. And she gets to dress however she likes. However, she constantly tells everybody to fucking dress like her. Can we hear her sing? Fine. An email that comes directly fine. to your inbox, so you never have to remember to just go to the you website. Have to hear her fucking Thank sign you so much then. for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Here it comes, chat. Are you fucking ready? All right. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Well... She's like a spooky opera ghost now. Pretty sure we're all fucking dead, chat. Okay, I can't take it any fucking longer. That's the end of that video. Holy fucking shit.